Hello and welcome to the workout series, Fit For Me. My name is Beverly Chang and I'm here with CBC Life and the CBC Creator Network to bring you a self-love workout. Today's session is all about celebrating you. We are going to be giving ourselves lots of body hugs, going through some light, gentle stretches and a little bit of core and shoulder work. Ready to begin? Let's get started. So first we're going to be reaching up towards the sky. And then as you come down, I want you to hug those knees in. We're gonna do this five times. Reaching up, breathing out, hug those knees in. Really reaching as high as you can, get a nice stretch. And then as you come down, wrap those hands around those thighs or around the calves. Two more. This time, if you want, you could come to the back of your legs. And the last one, we're gonna hold for an extra second. Good, release those hands. We're going to hug ourselves and rotate gently towards the left. Feeling a nice stretch down that side. Release those arms, shake it out, other side. Good, release those arms, plant your hands down. We're gonna bring that left leg forward into a runner's lunge. Drop that back knee. Drive those hips down. From here, we're gonna sweep our left arm up and bring the elbow down towards the mat. Five times. Four, try to keep that foot flat, and five, good. If you're able to, bring both elbows down towards the mat. Nice, deep stretch in those hips. Good, coming up, slightly come back a bit. And we're just gonna give ourselves a little twist here. From here, we're gonna place our hands on the mat, kick that left leg up, and this is where we're gonna get a little bit of core work in. We're gonna come forward, left knee to left elbow. We're gonna go 10 times, one. Drive that elbow all the way up, three. Hold it for a second, kicking up, four. Good job. Try to get it even past that elbow. Really reach, extending that core. Seven. Good. Nine. One more. Ten. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, and. Relax, good. With that same left leg, bring it out in front of you. We're just gonna have a deep hamstring stretch. If you can, bring your head to your knee and just hug that leg gently. Let that head drop. Let's bring those hands back, walk those feet out, push back into a downward dog, and we're gonna repeat all of this on the right side. So right leg forward, drop that back knee. Good, 
When you're ready, reaching up to the ceiling, driving that elbow down five times. Three, four, and five. And if you're able to, both elbows down. Nice job. When you're ready, slowly come up, sit yourself up slightly, and we're just gonna do a little rotation the other way. Good. Hands back down. We're going to go into our little core sequence, so kicking back up, and then 10 knee to elbows. Really getting that knee all the way past that elbow. Three, good job. Halfway, kicking up, strong shoulders, six. Eight, really push back on that leg, kicking it up. Nine, we're gonna hold for five on this last one. And five, four, three, two, and beautiful, good. Take that right leg, bring it in front, straighten it as best you can. Let's get a little hug in here. Good, and slowly release, walking those hands out, pushing back, downward dog. We're gonna go into another little shoulder exercise. We're gonna go into commandos. So starting in our forearms, coming up to a high plank. All right, we're gonna do 10 on each side. Here we go. One, two, good. Nice and controlled. If you have to do these on your knees, you're just gonna drop down to your knees, but keep that spine nice and straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, ten more. Down and up. You got this. Place those hands where those elbows were. 15, almost there, two more, last one. When you're ready, let's hang out in child pose, bring those knees back, reach out in front and relax. breaths here. Nice and slowly roll forward. We're gonna do one more set of those commandos. Are you ready? I know you can do this. Come on. I said a little bit of light shoulder and core work and now we're getting it in. Come on. Forearm plank. Up and down. Four, five, good job. Keep those hips square. Remember, if you have to, drop down to those knees. That's okay. Eight. Ten. Ooh, 
10 more, come on. You can do this. One. Two. Don't worry, I have a nice sequence of stretches after this. Almost there at the end. 17. 19, one more. Up and down. Take a second, sit back. Gotta really push ourselves when we have the chance. All right, here we go. Moving into a little bit of upper back and neck stretches. Wipe away whatever sweat you have now. So from here, coming to a cross-legged set if you can. And I just want you to bring your right ear to your right elbow or right shoulder. Left ear to your left shoulder. If you just woke up and are doing this, it should feel so good on you right now. Good, and looking right um, over your right shoulder. And then turning, looking over the left shoulder. Back and forth. Nice, let your head drop. And slowly just let it roll. This is one of my favorite stretches. So we're gonna reach up, take that right hand, put it on your left knee, and we're gonna rotate opening. <sighs> Looking over that left shoulder. Lift that left hand, bring it on your right knee. I want you to roll forward. Good, take that right hand, lift it, and use it to rotate yourself. And then this time when you come back, we're gonna bring our right hand to our left shoulder, left hand to your right shoulder, and we're just gonna give ourselves a big hug. Nothing is better than a self-hug. All right, we're going to move into a little core sequence now. It's time. So coming onto your back, we have alternating V-ups and then moving into alternating leg extension. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna reach back, you're gonna reach up to your left foot, come back down, reach up to your right foot. Then we're gonna bring our knees at a 90 degree angle and we're gonna do alternating leg extensions, okay? So first one, we're going to be doing 50, or sorry, 20 reps. Second one, 20 reps. Are you ready? Reaching up, let's go. One, back down, two. If you can't reach all the way, you're just going to do a little knee tuck in, okay? Five, six, keep going. and 10, halfway. 
really honoring our body today with movement that feels good, with stretches that go deep, taking care of ourself, taking care of our mind, our body, this beautiful vessel that we live in. Come on, two more. One, two, good. Relax for a moment. Then let's bring those feet up to a 90 degree angle and extend one, two, all the way up to 20, really burning out that core. Try to get that foot so that it's parallel with the ground, keeping that back nice and flat. Should definitely be feeling this in those abs. 10, 10 more. Five on each side, one, two, good work. Keep breathing. Nineteen. Can you give me one more? Twenty. Good. Let's roll those knees in. Sitting up. Let's extend those legs. And we're going to take this left leg and we're going to try to get it in another little hug. So sitting nice and tall. If this is too hard for you, I just want you to bring that left foot over your knee and do a little twist, okay? But we're trying to get these hugs in. Should feel this in your glutes, maybe a little bit in that inner thigh, in the hip. Good, and when you're ready, you can release that leg, hug it into your chest. And release, good. Right leg this time, bringing it in. Feeling that glute stretch. Once we're done this, we're gonna go back to that little core sequence. We've got one more set of that. All right, and when you're ready, as good as it feels, release that leg and then hug it into your chest and let go. Are you ready for a second round? Alternating V-ups, 20 reps. Let's go, reaching up, breath out, and let's see it. Two. Remember what I said, if you can't reach for that toe and the straight leg, just do a little knee tuck. Six. Seven. Come on. Nine. And ten. Halfway. Fourteen. Fifteen. Keep it going. Nineteen and twenty. Whew. Good job. Coming down onto your back, knees at ninety. Let's go. One, two, keep that low back flat on the mat trying to extend that leg all the way so that it's parallel with the ground. Nice and controlled, feeling it in your lower abs. Nine and 10, 10 more, you can do this. Come on, showing up for yourself today, showing your body that it can do 
hard things, great things, strong things. Come on. Four more, one. Don't quit now, two, three, and last one. Love it. Bring those knees in and roll up. We are almost done today's self-love movement session, but stick with me for the last couple stretches. So stretching out those legs, I want you to reach up, embrace the sky, and then fall forward over those legs. If you can, try to hug those legs in as much as possible. And let that head drop. We have to go into happy baby. So coming onto our back, using those hands, grab those heels, drive your knees out with your elbows, and we can just slowly rock side to side. If you can, or if you'd like to, you can extend those legs. And let's give ourselves one last big squeeze in today's self-love session, because like I said, you deserve it. Today is all about you. Hug those knees in, use those arms, squeeze yourself tight, show yourself that care, show yourself that love. Not just today, but all days. Extend out, reaching up. One last stretch and done. Whew. Great work today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this self-love session on this special day. Like I said, you deserve it and you deserve to treat yourself well with movement, with grace, every single day, not just today. If you enjoyed today's session, make sure you head to www.cbc.ca slash life and head to our YouTube channel for more videos. Goodbye.